Hi you guys, it's Yvonne. <laughs> so it is Wednesday, November the 11th, and I am at Willowstone where my showcases are. And I've got more stuff to put in because remember I said I do not have enough stuff in that, um, in those showcases yet, you know, to make it worth it. So I've been here about a week and a half, right? Okay, so that's only, let's see, close on Mondays and Tuesdays. Okay, so let's say six selling days. So, and I'm not in the system yet. I should be soon to log in and see if I sold anything. So I'm excited to go see how it's doing so far and then go do some shopping. It's a great day. It's about 50 degrees here in Colorado. Okay, I'm inside and Ranger Hill is my street. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Let's go see. Oh my gosh. I'm a little nervous. So yeah, I think it's been about six selling days. Really six, five and a half. Okay. I'll find out some more information. Let's okay. see. Right, well, things, I'll be have been, soon, okay? things have been rearranged. I see some empty spots. And yes, there are some things missing, definitely. The Fenton is gone, I can see. A lily vase is gone. I can see that. I can't remember what else was down there. I'll get my list out in a little bit. I see some empty spots down there. Yay. There's some things here that I thought would have sold, but that's cool. Well, wow, things have really been rearranged. <laughs> so people are picking things up and looking. One, two. Okay, and there's two smiley mugs missing. Yes. People are going for it. Two smiley mugs missing. Oh, that makes me so happy. So that's working. Okay. Well, let me get my list out and see. Oh, I can't. No, I can't remember. Let me get my list out and see. People are like looking at things and putting them back wherever they want to, <laughs> which is cool. I don't think I see anything broken, but I'm a little shocked that some things are still here, like this little doggy. Oh. Okay. Oh, and wasn't there a little fish face up here? Yeah, a little votive. Okay, so yeah. So that's great, you guys. Some things are selling. Okay, let me get out my inventory and see what all happened. And get up the new stuff, and then I'll show you, okay? All right, you guys. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I hope you guys continue. Hi. Okay, I've got it um, loaded with some new things. I'll show you real quick. A couple of cute things down here, Concrete Lion, the Mud Pie Bank, Alligator Bank. You might, yeah, you saw that in the hall, so you know why I have that. This cute little guy. Let me see, what else did I add? The gun mugs, and I'm keeping separate from the smiley faces, right? And that I showed you guys things I picked up when I was with George, right? The girls, the sugar skull lady, and the vintage bustier dress. The other Hagers to put with those Hagers. The cactus, because I did sell one of these, you guys. One of the things I sold was one of these arrangements. I can't think what else I added. Oh, the baby thing. And I've got more smiley mugs I can bring up. Oh, and this. This is either Fostoria or Cambridge. Not Viking. I'm pretty sure I ruled Viking off already. Okay, so I sold about almost $90 worth of stuff so far in the five and a half days that this has been live, so to speak. I threw this plastic bag in there to make it easier to see the music notes from far away because that, I feel like, should be sold. Ray Dunn is waning, so... That may take a while, maybe for the holidays. Might still be some people collecting. The taller iris vase sold for 20. Okay, so I'm getting pretty decent prices. Somewhat close to eBay, but without the listing and the shipping. But don't get me wrong, there's still work to be done. I mean, everything, you know, I tag everything and have to bring it here, so. But I don't mind it, it's gonna be work either way. I don't have to do the shipping. So, I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy. Still need more stuff in here, though. All right, we're going to go shopping. But before we carry on, 
my neighbor and I met her last time I was in here with Hannah putting some more things in. She has this nice jewelry case and her name is um, Versailles and she had toys down here and she was taking them all out and look what she did. This is awesome. Jewelry grab bags. They're five dollars. There's some awesome ones in here too. I mean a lot. That's that's good. I hope she does well. I bet she does. And if you want to see her on Facebook, there she is. Kind of a younger woman. She had a few kids with her. She seems really nice. We chatted for a little bit. She has it open too, because you know it's costume jewelry. 90% I believe. I don't blame her with the doors off. This is really a nice little thing here with the matching earrings. Real delicate. Let's see how much that is. Hang on. Decorative egg necklace with matching earrings. $10. Oh, that's cute. So, oh my goodness. That'll be fun to have her across from me. I bet you people stop at this one for sure. $5 for these little kitty cats. And again, she's on Facebook, you guys. She sells someplace else, too. I can't remember. I think eBay and maybe on Facebook. But there's your deal. Okay. So, carrying on. Okay, you guys know how I do. Pop in and out when I see cool stuff, right? Oh, man. Do you guys remember these? This, I've never seen one this big. Six foot long. There's more down in the box. <laughs> hundred bucks. And it's got a, you know, it's a little switch here. Oh my goodness. I think those were like, what, from the Philippines or something, someplace like that. I think I had a small one of those in the 80s. But I think it was from the 70s. And I got it at a garage sale because, you know, I'm just a young girl with not much money just yet. So, <laughs> anything else in here? That was definitely the winner. All right, let's go. That mid-century modern lamp that I love is still here. Love it. My mom had like one big hanging one of this kind of crisscross I don't know, acrylic pieces or lacquered straw. Um, anyways, mushroom lamp makes me think of Spencer's gift. Just having a little fun, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> I've got something like this at home. It's not mushrooms. Mine's a little more active. Okay. Anything new in here? Hmm. I cannot read any of that. It's real warbled. Let's see what the tag says. Hang on, you guys, bear with me. Gravity boat chamber pot. Okay, why? Okay. <laughs> Bye. This booth looks like a mix of like new and retro, vintage, and then I'm not sure, maybe a few antiques tossed in, not sure. 50% off everything today, and this is their other booth. This is getting a lot of attention from people. I don't know if you can hear it. I got in close so you could hear it. Of course, I looked at the bling, but it's new. It's not like a vintage or a Judith Lieber or Liber. There's got some blow molds. It's Christmas time almost, you guys. I'm not sure how to handle Thanksgiving and Christmas yet. What are you guys going to do? You know, the gathering is a problem. Every state's having an uptick. wonder if that still works. It's cool looking, though. I had a somewhat vintagey one. It was my dad's. I can't remember which one it was. It wasn't quite as old as that one, but it still worked. It had its case and everything. 
and my cousin who's also a thrifter and reseller um, Michelle you you guys have seen her in the chat sometimes and um, she said hey when you're out thrifting let me know if you see a um, an old typewriter I said hey I got dad's old one it still works so um, I had her pick it up and she gave it to that I think she was 15 or 16 and she sent me a picture of her um, a little video of her playing it so those are definitely having a revival still and it seems like the crowd is getting even younger I'm just walking and talking showing cool things as you guys listen to my family stories huh. back to the real point we're checking out citywide well I'm still back here at citywide doing the garage sale thing all that um, the only thing I picked up actually it was before citywide this is my coat to block off my stuff to put things that I'm buying so I don't forget to pay for them for goodness sakes um, this is a hand knit this was over in the regular section a hand knit beanie and I just love these only $3.95 hand knit that's crazy it's super soft and it's a little bigger I like them bigger so they don't flatten your hair <laughs> right anyways um wait a minute I don't think that belongs there Oh, that's the lady that I, that's the lady up in the beginning where I always look through her pendants. I'm going to put that back. Actually, that's super cute. Wait a minute, there you go. I think I'll just buy that, put it on one of my chokers. Okay, so I'm almost done with Citywide and I'm going to go back out. I saw a girl that had a mask that had Pink Floyd on it and I asked her where she got it and she told me it's over there. But you know what? Oh, let me back up. I never, okay, this is the loading dock, and this is the b very back end of the building. I never go in here because I didn't understand what it was. I'm like, is this somebody's booth? Is this leftover stuff? Like, what is this? So, for once, let's finally just go through here and see what it is. I got a feeling I'm not going to know anything. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll just look together, okay? Oh, I know that. I didn't know, is this like where they put stuff that people leave behind until they're legally they're allowed to sell it? Because it seems to have like different tags, you know, of different people's stores, so. Excuse me, excuse for a minute, they're loading. Hang on, I'm gonna, hang on. See, they're loading. When you guys saw me first come in, I was parked there and he loaded up my stuff and brought it down that ramp into my showcase. So excuse that noise for just a minute. They're helping somebody. So this looks like stuff that's left behind, the people who don't pay their rent, and it's here. Maybe it's for sale? Oh my, who would leave her here? <laughs> so $700. Not that I want a naked lady. I don't fully understand that. <laughs> okay. That's cool. Okay, this is where we need George, right? Because George would probably tell us what all this stuff is, what date, everything. This must be antique for sure. They want $250. That's cool, right? So again, we'll just look. It's a hodgepodge of really odd stuff. You guys might be like, I know what that is. And... I know what that is, <laughs> and I know what that is, Yvonne. Oh, you guys want to know a secret about me? Okay, so, you know, you pull out your silverware drawer, and it's got that divider thing where we put our silverware, right? And then in the very back, there's a cubby hole. I have special one-off pieces that I bought that I just like, that I use, like, for myself when I'm just eating by myself. I'll show you sometimes some of the cool pieces I put in there. So that's why this is catching my attention. This, it's just silver plated. I know it looks like silver, but silver plated. I'm just seeing if there's anything super cool. Excuse the noise for a minute. A little hors d'oeuvre fork or olive fork. I'm liking this pattern right there. That art deco looking. Okay, they're coming in. So let me shut this off for just a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, they're done. Those are industrial 
floor buffers, right? Yes, I know that. This obviously was a cat chair. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know what I had here. This was a cat's chair. This looks like an ice box or something. Woohoo, look at me go. Top opening wood ice box, $850. Ha! Ah, I knew something. Huge low profile tires. Um, there might be some cool stuff here, you never know. An old brass, well you don't know if it's old, sorry. So hard to tell. I'm not good at that kind of stuff. Oh, I have one of these. It's a, it's not the corner units that fit into a corner. Um, mine's not as ornate. It's I like it though. I love it. It's Danish, so it's real streamlined. Uh, gosh, such a space saver. What is that? Let me back up. I'll give you guys a moment while I try to guess too. Oh, it's four hundred dollars. Cabbage slicer. Wait, what? That's what it says. Okay. <laughs> you know what I would have guessed? Um, that it was just missing wheels, and it was an old-fashioned one of those mechanics things. You know that they lay down and they roll under the car. <laughs> That's what I would have said if somebody said, "Hurry! What is that?" Some signs from people's stores. That's kind of cool. It was $50 when it was in whatever booth it belonged to. Someone's pulled out the locking mechanism. That's kind of cool. If it had all its parts, right? <laughs> I think that's a camel. You're happy and you know it. Oh, okay. So that's like a repop of something, right? Let's see, a baby buggy. An old fashioned wicker baby buggy. They want, well, $90 is what it was. Some precious little outfit in there. Oh. The bracer, royal. Wait a minute, let me come around. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> support belt oh it's like a it's like a girdle for a man look better feel better that's funny supporter belt it's a girdle for a guy we are not sexist in this market equal opportunities <laughs> I can't read that I have no idea what that is just showing you guys some really unusual items um, Delco. My dad worked at Delco for a little bit when he was young, and then he went to National Cash Register for a while in Ohio, and then he went to General Motors, where he stayed until his Harley accident coming back from Sturgis. And I've kept an eye on my dad ever since. All right. Some cool stuff in that trunk. Let's see what's in it. Probably like a fumigator thing and a pair of old pair of ice skates. And uh, is that like a lobster trap or something? All right, just panning. We are exiting the citywide garage sale and going back into the main area. I'm looking for that Pink Floyd face mask. I'm going to the grocery store and to a couple thrift stores. And I will leave you with this beautiful Christmas booth. Okay. Hi, hi. Okay, here's a little bonus clip of mine. Hang on. Let me make it dark. <laughs> and then we'll turn it on. There we go. <laughs> I've had this forever. We used to sell these. Um, I just highly recommend this kind of stuff. It's just fun. Sometimes you just need to sit down and take a little calming break. Do something kind of wacky. This really make, puts you in kind of a creative mood too. I have four lava lamps, my infinity light, 
This, I have so many crazy lights that I either got from Spencer's Gifts when I was younger or I sold them at the flea markets um, in the 80s and 90s or I found them recently. This is just good stuff, you guys. If you see something like this and it's cheap enough, get it. <laughs> okay? I promise you won't regret it. All right. Bye-bye.